The uh, overflow valve on Eastway Drive on Briar Creek, which is a tributary of, of, uh, of sugar. I, I, that is stunning to me. It's stunning to me now. The city had approved the construction of some new apartments on Eastway Drive, which is just up the hill as you head, uh, they're on the right as you head toward Independence Boulevard. And they didn't have the sewer capacity for them. So, so when the apartments went online and people started moving in, sewage began running into the homes of the houses there next to the creek. There's really nothing they can do now, that, except they have three choices. One, they can order the people out of these apartments and then go to, go to court over who did what to whom. Or they can, uh, uh, well, there's really only two things they can do. They put an overflow valve. That's really the only choices they have. Because, you, I mean, you can't put a size 10 foot into a size 6 shoe. I mean, it's not going to happen. And so they, they put an overflow valve in. So, it, so at 8 o'clock in the morning and at 6 o'clock at night and 7, this sewage would run straight into the creek. I mean, I have never seen anything like that before or since. Uh, and they're right downstream from that, there's residential neighborhoods. So these kids, if they went out and played in the creek, they're really essentially playing in sewer, sewage. And they didn't tell anybody anything. 